How's it going guys? It's your boy Tundra here and uh welcome back to the m no name Minecraft. Uh cuz that's the new name. Well, I've already announced that in the previous episodes. Now, in the last episode, well, between the episodes, I did say I would go strip mining and I did I made it to bedrock and I'm actually strip mine on Y14, the one right in the middle, and I find that this is the best diamond level to find. So while I was strip mining, this is like all the important blocks. I also have this stuff in my inventory. I've killed a skeleton and they dropped the bow, so I thought that was pretty nice. The rest of the stuff, like cobblestone and all that, they're just in a the chest. They're nothing really important. I can't. No, I'm not smelting anything. But good news is. I've actually found diamonds. Well, actually, I found two, two. Um, I found two of them. Like one of them that contains four, and the other one does contain four, but it's further up. Now, the only thing you guys have missed between the episodes, is I've gathered wood, and I've hit the sugarcane farm. Like I have a couple diamonds here. If it wasn't for me finding iron right beside it, I would have never found these diamonds until I started strip mining on this, the next place. So I have four diamonds here, and further up, we actually found a little mine place, but there's nothing really important. There's more, there's four more diamonds here, which I think is amazing. And now what I'm gonna do is actually only mine one of them just like that just one diamond I'll keep the rest there for later or whatever like until we need them because when I'm gonna go make the enchantment table I want to be able well yeah I want to be able to to have I have trouble speaking right now but I want to get fortune or silk touch to bring the diamonds back just because I, I want like with the diamonds I want to make sure I have multiple I want to make sure I, I won't run out so let me grab all the resources from in here oh and I've also worked a little bit on the farm but not big of a difference I've replanted everything and that's why I have more food than last episode and I've also just digged out a little bit more, but there's nothing like big about it. Just I expanded it, expanded it a little bit, but still nothing important there. Seems like it's nighttime. I'm not sure if I was recording when I made this flatland part, just because I wanted it to be easier to make there. And I'm actually gonna go back home with a diamond on hand, just so I can feel special. So we need a book. If I, yeah, we would need a book, obsidian. Now, uh, I put, I put the sugar cane in this chest. Yeah, so we actually have a lot of sugar cane, and that's only from like yeah, uh, hitting it once. Like I only went there once. Yeah, there's some. Just throw all the ores in here. Throw all, I'll keep the map on me. So we need. Three obsidian, oh no, not two. Three. Okay, someone came inside. Hello! You're not welcome here. Ah, uh, diamond? I already got the sugar cane, I'm gonna drop. Yeah, I was still putting the ores in the chest. Until I got rudely interrupted. So now, uh... We need paper to make a book. Okay, so one book right there. I'm not sure why I didn't use the same one, but oh, four obsidian. God damn. I still. Uh, I keep going to like a different enchantment table, a uh, different crafting table. But we now have the enchantment table, and now we need some books bookshelves I did gather some wood now I don't I'm not sure how much we would need but I'm gonna make a good amount 
I'm just gonna tr turn everything to paper first of all, and then everything to books, and see how many bookshelves we can make. Because it is pretty, well, I guess it could be a little expensive. Okay, so we have 15 bookshelves, enchantment table, and uh, I think I might just do it upstairs, because it's still pretty empty. Uh, just want to make the sides first. Things up. Do we have a level 30 yet? I don't think we'll have enough for 30. No, 28. Shit. So, uh. What do we need? We need wood. Wow. Okay, so. I thought we'd have enough, but once again, it is foxy. Oh yeah, it's nighttime. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go to bed. Look, we're already level 38, and we haven't enchanted yet, or haven't used the XP, or experience, or whatever you want. Uh, I guess I can just try to get a little bit more from here, just in case we need it. I'm also going to go hit that tree right there. And I think, yeah, I'm going to go get a couple more trees, maybe explore a little. I do need to start planting them closer. I did start doing that, but I didn't mine them not down. And I started replanting them, and it seems like only one grew over there. I don't think the spires are actually hostile during daytime. Yeah, I don't think they are. So yeah, uh, how much are, how much wood are we? Uh, I don't know. I, I kind of feel like mining one more tree, just to be on the safe side. Uh, actually no. I'm just gonna go back. I'm gonna risk it for a biscuit, as some will say. I really hope we do get a good enchantment because this will be your first enchantment of the well yeah the first enchantment of the no name series no name minecraft or no name whatever I am using my food a little I'm I'm using my ah uh, I lose hunger quickly because I the amount of running I do oh yeah spiders in there I'm gonna use the crafting table right beside the chest this time. Okay, so only made three more, so hopefully this will be enough. Cause I don't actually know how much we need. So just like this. Come on. Please, please, please. Yeah, we got level 30. You guys ready? Oh damn! Holy shit. I'm gonna go pick up the diamonds right now. I wasn't expecting a good enchantment. I was expecting like maybe just efficiency or maybe just I'm breaking. I would have like I wasn't expecting fortune especially because that's a rare enchantment. Well rarer than the other ones. I'm pretty sure Silk Touch is the most, is the hardest to get. But yeah, I'm gonna go gather the diamonds. So there's seven more in uh, strip mine. So um, I'm not sure how much, how many diamonds we get with Silk Touch too. I know it's like a, it's still a 50-50 chance that you actually get, uh, you have fortune on it. I'm not sure if like every single diamond you mine you will have fortune or it's just like sometimes they only give you one sometimes they don't give you sh uh, well yeah they give you something but like sometimes you only get one and sometimes you only get like sometimes you get a couple so let's see first diamond we get oh my god three are you kidding me eight diamonds and there's only three there 
mine right through this. We've made 14 diamonds. We just got double the diamonds of what was there originally. Honestly, that's amazing. I could have sworn I saw some. Just cobblestone. See, we're already at level 10. Uh, I'm still kind of like mind blown that we actually got 14 diamonds. It's all our equipment on. I think what I want to enchant next would probably be a sword or a bow. I'm pretty sure the sword would be more needed. So I'm not sure what to actually do in this episode. Because uh, what I usually do in the episodes is I think of something like... I think of something to do, like the main thing. And this episode was to actually chant. And luckily, we got Fortune 2. Which is still unbelievable. Fortune 2. I'm breaking 3. Efficiency 4. And Fortune 2. Now, this pickaxe, I won't be really using it unless I... Unless there's diamonds or um uh yeah diamonds redstone or like anything like that redstone uh there's also coal and well coal i don't think so but diamonds in there 14 diamonds slice so there's lapis redstone and diamonds that i will be using the pickaxe for and the Pickaxe down here beside the diamonds. There's 63 cobblestone. Put the rest of the wood in there. Just random stuff, so I'm just. I don't really think we have an equipment chest. Alright, then right here. But also, I can't remember. But. When I went and mined that tree, I can't remember if we actually went to the, uh, the, the uh, the forest. But, uh, I can't remember if we actually did go to the, the village over there. Because I know we went to multiple villages, but I can't really tell if we already raided this one. Which I'm pretty sure we did. There's a big sand biome that go over there. Wow. Yeah, it already is right. Cause I can tell because the wood's not there anymore. Yeah. So, once again, I have no idea. Will there anything be spawning in those chests? Well, in those furnaces, I mean. But, I still don't know what to do. Go punch a village and leave. <laughs> Suck. I think I might go search for a forest biome, which looks like maybe this direction. And from there, we get some wood. Saplings and all. Yeah. So we'll gather some wood. Replant a forest nearby. Oh, there's a wolf. So then we can have a quick, like, wood supply. Right beside, so we don't need to run all the way. I don't really want to dig, like, any kind of, like, birch trees or any different kind of trees other than oak. That will be for later episodes. And I think I might take this time to announced a couple things that I want to do with this channel uh, number one I will be uploading more than just well I already said that I'd be uploading more than just Call of Duty and uh, Minecraft like there's gonna be random games underrated games and like high rated games whatever I don't know what to call those but there's gonna be 
a lot of different kind of games. A game that I really want to play is Decay. And once again, I'm playing Xbox, so I, I want I want to play some scary games. And because I'm playing Xbox, I'm limited to what kind. That, but uh, there's Decade I found, and it looks pretty nice. Uh, what else? There's another village. I'm pretty sure it's raided already, but uh. Yeah, Decay's one I really want to play. It's ca it's called Decay the Mayor, Episode 1. I do believe. But from looking at the pictures or whatever, that, well, it gives you some, uh, you know. And it's, it's an Xbox indie game, and uh, you can actually scroll over on the games. And it'll show you a couple pictures of the game. of the in And, uh... It looks a little bit creepy and all that, which I really want to play. <clears throat> Just so I can get, like, scared shitless. <coughs> Sorry. But, uh... Yeah, it looks very amusing. I think you guys might like that. I'm pretty sure you guys would love seeing me game. But it looks a little bit creepy and all that, so... I'm thinking about gaining it. Now usually indie games are actually only a dollar, but that one's uh, I'm pretty sure three dollars. So perhaps it's good. I don't know. Cause like uh, high rated games that people love, they're always expensive. Like Call of Duty's usually around, I think sixty and eighty. Just like Grand Theft Auto Five was eighty. I'm pretty sure or sixty. I can't really remember it, but I know it's one of those two. I'm gonna eat some. But uh So yeah, usually the usually the prices like count as in like a good game would usually be more expensive than a cheap cheap like underrated game, but you know, you can't really judge a book by its cover. Order price by that that by all what we're talking about. So, um, oh, no, I didn't. I want to go actually plant those right, right now. This in the chest with the bow. Gotta love the enchanted pickaxe. So, yeah, I'll go outside. And there's, uh, I've been playing. Well, I've got, I've become addicted again. Like, uh, I, I played the game, I beat the game. And now I'm just restarting with a fresh uh, Xbox Live account. But I was once addicted to Dead Island, the original. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is the, yeah, it's the, well, it's Dead Island. And I was really addicted to that game, and I completed it pretty quickly. Well, not really that quickly, but I just had a lot of fun with that game. And now I've been like playing it on my free time, just having a blast. Uh, with the wood I have, I should actually start building upstairs. That would probably be a good idea. So, um, get some more glass. Oh, we're almost done anyway, so as I was saying, I was I've been having a lot of fun playing that game and I'm not sh I'm not sure if you guys would be interested to just watch me play Dead Island. At least what Dead Island is, if you don't know, it's pretty much there's been a zombie apocalypse. Well not really apocalypse but like zombie infectation that happened I'm on a beach side. On a resort. To say. And uh, there's like a town. There's just the beachside. But it's, it's a really fun game. I would. It's a little bit graphic. 
but um and something else about the game is I actually have modded weapons and I don't think that I don't, well um, I'm not sure if you guys would want to watch someone just go through a game with modded weapons you guys might call that like cheating or something but I've already beat the game so I decide just like oh uh, what the heck let's have some fun because I just got back into it and I am also just doing it for f my free time just to have fun but yeah you guys tell me if you guys would want to see some Dead Island I would enjoy just recording me playing it and also make like a commentary on top of it I don't know. Maybe you guys would like it. Maybe you guys would hate it. So yeah, uh, the upstairs, the wood goes away so quickly. Unbelievable. Make a nice stack of wood. I just can't believe. I've been using so much wood. The thing that I would be scared about with my house is to say that, I don't know, maybe like jump on the enchantment table. Cause I don't give a fool. But, um, what would suck is like if lightning would hit the house. Like, say there was a storm and I was mining downstairs or something like that. Uh, not, well, not downstairs, but in the cave. And I, like, say I'd be strip mining or actually like working on the farm or doing something in that case. And a lightning bolt would hit the house when I'm down there. And then when I come up, it's like all burnt down. That would be terrible. I would hate to see that happen. Just because of the amount of work been put in. I don't want just something. Okay, yeah, I have a idea of what to make. Once again, I'm gonna make some more crafting tables, just like even though it's not needed, but just like that. Get some more wood. Sticks. A door. Like that, and now, oh no, I didn't want a gate, but oh well, what has been done is done. Just for shits and giggles, we're just gonna put it there. Now we need more sticks. Damn it. I hate it when doors do that. The nice, the nice, beautiful house. It's gorgeous. It's a sexy beast. Put the wood back. Also with the glass, because I don't need it. Ah, oh, the inventory is pretty cleared out. Grab some coal. Yeah, I did put sticks in here. Make some torches. And we'll torch up the place. Even though there's already torches there. Some more, and we'll take out the ones at the bottom. Oh yeah, torches uh, take away on the enchantment levels. Like if you guys didn't know yet, if you put a torch beside your enchantment table, well, I'll, I'll show you. I'll 
show you guys an example. If you had torches and you want to lower enchantment level and you don't want to break your shelves, you can actually cancel them with this. And now look, they're at your lower levels and it goes down pretty quickly. Now if you take two off, there's they're higher now. Take the last one off, you should be able to get 30. Yeah, you get 30. So yeah, torches can do multiple things. And this has actually been a long episode, so I'm going to end it right here. Putting a torch. I got it. No, I did Okay, I got it. This will be the end of the episode, and if you guys made it this far in the, in the episode, thank you. And I'll see you guys next time. This has been Tundra. And I'll see your faces back next episode.